Oh, this coronavirus really is a bummer. Yep. I just wish we could travel again soon. Yep. Like, do you remember the time when we did that 3,000 mile road trip in the US? Yep. We drove that 500 horsepower Mustang along the east coast of the United States. Yep. We even flew a helicopter. Yep. <sighs> Those were the times. Our original plan was to rent a car from Boston, drive from Boston to Washington DC, then fly from there to Jacksonville where we'd rent a new car and drive to St. Augustine and then later drive to Miami and then drive all the way back to Boston. So we booked a car from a car rental service, booked flights to Jacksonville and then rented Airbnbs from each location. Everything was settled. Except it wasn't. For some reason, the car rental service did not accept our Finnish driving licenses, so now we didn't have a car. And then I also noticed that the flight I booked did not depart from Washington DC, it departed from Baltimore. And then the destination wasn't Jacksonville, it, it, it was Orlando. And the best part was that we couldn't cancel the flight. Awesome! Plan two. After rigorous pondering, we decided to take the bus to Washington DC, fly from there to Orlando, rent a car with a two-row app, drive to Tampa, and from there to Miami. We were so frustrated by all of this failed planning that we needed we needed something to compensate our despair. So instead of renting a 50 horsepower Nissan shitbox, we rented a 500 horsepower Mustang. And so we headed to Washington DC. Here we go. Washington DC, we took a flight to Orlando. And I have to say, I've never seen an airport as empty as that one. We were like the only ones there. And then after a quick flight, we finally got our hands on the must. But then, when we got to our Airbnb, we realized that our room was as big as uh, my fridge. It's a bit tiny. But, but well, no biggie. The next day we spent way too much time in the sun, got sunburned, sipped a few margaritas, and enjoyed swimming in the pool area. We then headed to Tampa. The scenery was amazing. I mean, deep blue sea, beaches, palm trees, you name it. And then we found this unreal, totally empty beach. Look at this spot we found. All right, it's time to get above the clouds.
was fun. Next, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna head to Miami. From Tampa, we drove straight to Miami, but I have to say that the amount of video footage I have from Miami is minimal, mainly due to the amount of alcohol consumed during our visit there. <clears throat> um, the next day, we continued driving south. We drove down the route number one, or route one, the longest north-south road in the United States. It was like driving on a bridge for four hours. It felt absurd. The road took us to... <coughs> <clears throat> the road took us to Key West, the southernmost part of continental US. When we got there, uh, we hopped on a boat and headed for the sea. The plan was to do some snorkeling, and I had this picture in my head of diving in crystal clear waters and being surrounded by all sorts of fish. But uh, the reality was a bit different. <laughs> Wow, I could not see a damn thing. This really was a bad idea. There's really nothing to film. Okay, bye bye. And then, I mean, all good things have to come to an end or something like that. And uh, at this point, it was time to steer the Mustang towards the north again. Mikko actually decided to stay in Miami for a few more days, and I drove to Orlando to catch my flight. Okay, so the situation is this. I just returned the car and I still have to take a shuttle to the airport and I only have an hour before my flight leaves. So we're in a bit of a rush. Sorry. I made it. I made it. Woo. What a trip. What a trip. Yeah. 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 Yeah.